All right, guys, I got a couple things I want to talk about real quick. So we thought about Ape, this thing dumping uh, in the in the video posted earlier, right? We thought about the halts, what happened. I have a quick theory, thesis. Uh, so we know a lot of brokers are having a tough time finding Ape shares. Whether you're in these brokers, you know whether or not you receive your Ape or not. So depending on... We, we still had 50 million in volume, correct, on the day on Ape. So keep that in the back of your head. This means shares were being traded back and forth, but the price was still somehow dropping. What if the case may be that this 18 to 34% of Apes or so are, are selling their Ape, right? Because not everybody's holding. And these are the shares that they are grasping to bring into other people's accounts, assuming people are going to be selling. For example, let's say you own AMC and TD Ameritrade and you have not received your APE. TD Ameritrade is saying, give us four to seven business days. In four to seven business days, they're assuming that people will sell on the market uh, their APE shares so they can actually bring those into your account. Therefore, will not drive the demand up because these shares were already already theoretically bought they were theoretically purchased but the only order that went through was the sell order so this is again just in theory but i wanted to go over a few things okay so i told you all i would pop back in the video later if i had anything that i wanted to talk about so as you all know amc halted three times ape halted 10 times or more today luld limit up limit down these are this is the regulation team that halt stocks that halt stocks up halt stocks down whether it's due to volatility etc uh, etc et now if you take a look at the luld limit up limit down advisory committee you're going to see that blackrock is here goldman sachs is here citadel securities is here td ameritrade is here td ameritrade having trouble finding shares Citadel, we already know all of the background of Citadel. They're completely corrupt and assuming assuming this assuming this hedge fund this market maker is short AMC, the fact that they are able to control limit up limit down or at least have a say in it is a problem. Vertu, one of the top 3 largest market makers in the market right now. So a lot of theories are being thrown around assuming BlackRock is short, assuming Virtu is short, assuming Citadel is short, Goldman Sachs is short, TD Ameritrade is short. Whether that's true or not, the last time I remember from at least the 13F filings was that Virtu actually owned shares, BlackRock owned shares, and depending on this, if this is a fight within the LULD advisory committee team or whether there's things contracts being signed back and forth, whatever it may be, we got halted down for a lot of the times, whether that's to put fear in people's heart or whether that's to shift shares back and forth to other people's pockets and different brokerage accounts so that everybody everybody's shares are accounted for. Now, this is what I got for, for this video so far. I'm going to be coming out as soon as I get more. Uh, guys, I want you to hop over right now as soon as you see this video to Terrible's space call on twitter if you don't if you don't follow her click on my name you'll see me in the space call go in there i think it's interesting to listen to that is it guys i love you all enjoy the rest of your night peace